What do you have there, Andrea? Oh, well, um, this is what I call my Bible. It is a book, a, the complete guide to home improvement. <laughs> we need that, don't we? Well, yeah, I sure do. <laughs> I mean, hey, there's a lot to learn. I know. Guess what? We're back. Hey. Episode four. Time yeah, is flying, isn't it? It is. Well, I'll tell you what. Welcome to uh, House to Home. Uh, Andrea and myself, uh, we're here on this beautiful Friday again, right? Yeah. You've is. got your Bible. I've got some notes that I've been taking. We got this cool house behind us that I think a lot of people have been asking about. Yeah, there has been a lot of questions. I know. And uh, you know, it's taking a little while, but I think today might be the day we can go take a tour. What do you think? Hey, let's do it. You think we should run inside, check out each floor, and kind of maybe just see what it has to offer? Yep. All right, let's do yep. it. Follow us. If you're ready to replace your bath or shower enclosure and want a professional installation, stop by Advantage Glass Plus in Hayes. Select a standard or customized enclosure, framed or frameless, with hinged, pivoting, or sliding doors. Give your bath some personality and style with patterned glass available in many textures, including obscured, clear, and rain. Let the glass experts from Advantage Glass Plus create your new bath enclosure. 1005 Vine and Hayes. Find our ad in the next tech directory. When it's summer in this part of Kansas, temps outside can hit 90 plus. But if the temperature inside your home or business isn't cool and comfy, you'll need this little tool right here. Just press the button 625-2115. That brings a Glassman technician right to your door to solve the problem instantly and affordably. For air conditioning service, the only name to know is Glassman Plumbing, Heating and Air. Glassman Plumbing, Heating and Air. The choice is perfectly clear. Glassman Plumbing, Heating Great design is in great details. Your design headquarters, the furniture look on the bricks in downtown Hayes. Midwest Energy is a cooperative, meaning that our electric and natural gas customers are also our owners. Serving nearly 92,000 customers in 41 counties in central and western Kansas, Midwest Energy's employees are proud to bring you safe, reliable, and affordable energy services. Learn more at MWEnergy.com. Midwest Energy, a customer-owned cooperative, making energy work for you. Sorry. Sorry. A little too tall there. Sorry. Oh. We're, we're supposed to. <laughs> hey, we're, 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 we're back. <laughs> that was a, I'm glad I had my hard, Your hard hat on. My hard stocking cap on. That could have been a dangerous thing over there. Welcome to House to Home. We're back, and you are inside. The stone house. The stone <laughs> Finally. house. Huh? You know, we talked about, remember we were in here once. We were. Talking about the furnace. Yep. Today we're just going to give a tour of the house. I think it's a time we just kind of take people around, show them what's going to be happening over the next mm -hmm. six months in this whole beauty, what we're going to be working on. Right now we're standing in the living room of With this. Lovely shag green. Oh, it's it's kind of like what's the guy that lived in the dumpster on Sesame Street? Yeah, yeah. Kind of oh, that uh, like has that grass color. Oscar! Oscar, there we go. Yeah. We got Oscar on the floor. Quick story about this house. Um, built in the early, early 1900s. Um, it was actually a barn, which is really cool. <laughs> <laughs> it was a barn. You're going to live in a barn. I'm going to live so in a barn. Fitting. It's so fitting. Mm, I'm a cow. Yeah. I, uh, yeah well, never mind. We won't go there. Um, it was originally built as a barn um, in the 1900s. The house across the alley would have been the house, and this would have been the barn. Um, yeah. I found out that in the late 40s, as Hayes grew around this house, the, they converted it into a house. And so I think in the early 50s, late 40s, voila. Kind of cool that they kept the exterior, the stone, yeah, and, yeah. and everything in here. You can tell the uh, it's all... Sheetrock. I think there yeah. is a. I don't think you're going to find any plaster in here. So the woodwork um, is a little different. Not what you'd expect to find in an old old house, but so it's a little more modern woodwork um, for an old house. But we're in the living room. 
huge windows. Yeah, huge windows in every room. Every room. Like has, sealing the floor. Yeah, huge windows, which yeah. is really cool. Um, we're gonna leave all the windows in the house. Behind us here, this is the kind of a little dining space and then there's a kitchen that wraps around back in the corner. We'll run in there in a second. Um, right over here, something that's very cool that you don't find very much of is that they actually built a master bedroom on this yeah, in this house unusual. in the 40s. Very unusual. Now it's only nine foot three by 10, <laughs> but you know, back then they didn't that have was, as much. Yeah. People were small, smaller, not that, um, not that you're small, but no king size beds. They, <laughs> they probably were all fitting in full size beds, if that. Yeah. yeah. So, pretty cool. So, should we go in the kitchen? Sure. Let's go in the kitchen. Watch out for your light. Yes. Yeah. Kind, of, kind of conked myself <laughs> on that the last time. Hey, we're in the kitchen. What do you think? Yeah. Well, more big windows. Oh, an old school. Well, yeah. Yeah. To be tiny, expected. tiny galley kitchen, which is very common in this, you know, this type of house. But again, the big windows, yes. which is very cool. Not only here, but you know, everywhere they, it just looks like, I mean, it's like whoever did the work on this when they did the conversion uh, uh, from the barn to the house, they were like, I like a lot of light or oh, somebody like said that, which is really yeah, cool. It is. You know, and you can tell all the cabinets have been built in. I mean, these are the old, um, you know, piece by piece they were built in here, not like today's cabinets where they're modular and they bring them and set them in sections. Yeah. So. Pretty, pretty cool stuff. Yeah. The old built-ins, kind of a yeah, cool. Yeah, I noticed that. Yeah. Unfortunately, some of this stuff is going to go in, in the, in the kind of the restoration remodel of it. But, uh, but it's, yeah. but it's a cool. This is we're looking back now in the master bedroom. So, the master bedroom would be down the hallway, real small, and then the bathroom, what would have been the master bath, would have be considered. Uh, it would have been shared. So it'd been the master bath and, and kind yep. of the common bath. Powder but, one, yeah. Well, it's but, kind of interesting. We've got now a kitchen wraps around over into here. You know, it's kind of this funny little angle here. Yeah. Kind of makes you wonder what's this for? Yeah. You know, what did they use this, this for with the low here. counter? Especially when you're sinking your stove right there, yeah. which are your key parts. Now, where was the refrigerator? Is that? It's actually where Hunzafoots is standing. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Figures. See, and that kind of breaks and up. You can translate that whenever you like. <laughs> 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 but so you know main floor it's pretty simple but yet there's you know there's a lot to it there's uh, um, actually out here if we go out through this door now that's where the stairs go down to a basement that are under the garage so the basement is actually under the garage this is crawl space yeah under the house um, and then you can go out there's a mud room and we can go on out to the garage Should we go out there next um, sure let's go on out there all right, let's go down here. This is kind of cool, Andrea. This what is what people would not expect is actually, we talked about, the basement is actually underneath the garage. There's a pre-stressed concrete yeah. floor, which is yeah. really cool. So, what do you think of this? Is well, this cool or what? This looks, looks like your true man cave down This here. is a man cave. Look at this wood paneling. Yeah. I mean, we're not talking pan, I guess I shouldn't say paneling. This no, is, this that's real the wood. real stuff. Yeah, the old basement windows, so there's, and I, what I love about this, and some people are like, that kind of freaks me out, this is the garage floor above us, yeah, so it's pre-stressed concrete from, you know, back in the 40s, so, you know, you just don't find that every day, but this is a cool man cave. It has its own fireplace, I see that. That's has awesome. its own closet, it has its own bathroom, and it has it its has own kitchen. I yep. mean, you know, I'll tell you what, if I came down here, I don't know that I'd have any reason to go back upstairs. I know, I can see this is your first place to fix up and uh, live down here. I could do that. Other than the fact that I do like the big windows. Yes. But that's this very true. is a very cool space and yeah. kind of kind of you you would think it really makes the house really cool, I think. Yeah. Yes, so, it's very unexpected. Oh, it is very unexpected. So maybe uh, let's run upstairs now. Should we go to yeah, the second let's floor? Let's go to the second floor. floor. All right. Oh man, how cool is that basement, Andrea? Oh yeah, it's a, at least a little uh, brighter and warmer uh, up here. I know, a little bit. Hey, uh, we're gonna take a break and we're gonna go upstairs and check that out. So we will be right back. Let's go upstairs. When it's summer in this part of Kansas, temps outside can hit 90 plus. But if the temperature inside your home or business isn't cool and comfy, you'll need this little tool right here. Just press the button 625-2115. That brings a Glassman technician right to your door to solve the problem. 
instantly and affordably. For air conditioning service, the only name to know is Glassman Plumbing, Heating and Air. Glassman Plumbing, Heating and Air. The choice is perfectly clear. Glassman Plumbing, Heating and Air. Great design is in great details. Your design headquarters, the furniture look on the bricks in downtown Hayes. Each year, about 400 electrocutions occur in the United States. You can avoid shock by knowing one basic premise. Electricity always seeks the easiest path to the ground, and you are a perfect conductor. Stay 20 feet from damaged power lines. And if down wires touch your car, don't get out. Stay inside and call for help. And don't let others touch the car until it's safe. Electrical safety tips for Midwest Energy. A customer-owned cooperative, making energy work for you. Faster than you can Google home equity loan, the Bank of Hayes can have that line of credit at your fingertips. In less time than you'll spend calling an 800 number to get service from a chain bank, the Bank of Hayes has already met any needs you might have. You see, at Bank of Hayes, we bring you something in banking no one else can. The idea of here and now. Meeting all your financing needs now because we're right here in Hayes. From financing a car to a home, let us help you now. Here. Now. Wow. Mm -hmm. Well, so how's that noggin feeling after the second hit now on the stairwell? <laughs> it's kind of a crazy little staircase. It is. It low, in. low headroom. Yeah. It's me about right here. <laughs> this is kind of a cool little triangle room that was created because of the way the house comes over and then scooches over to 45 degree angle and goes off for the garage. Off the garage. So okay. pretty cool little room. It's yeah. just a little office space or whatever you want to use it for. Oh, hey, welcome back to House to Home. Should we go take a look at the rest of the house? The actual house part? Yeah, let's yeah, do let's it. Yeah, let's go check out the bedrooms. Okay, let's go. Hey, after you. Oh, oh thanks. Well, I gotta love the, the pink in here. Isn't this crazy? Good thing you can change paint colors easily. Yeah. So what do you think of this space? So we Again, this, all the windows. Oh, look. I know, and check out this door. So this is like a little closed off area where that stairway takes us back to the entry room where yeah. we'll finish up. We come up here and there's this little opening, which is really cool for an old house. Typically they're long hallways, but this one here, and again. A big window, I know. <laughs> I know, isn't that cool? So it's just a great space. Oh my goodness, check this out. Oh, okay. This must have been somebody's huh? sewing room. Oh, sewing, this is for cutting cheese. Oh, what are you, you really like your so cheese. <laughs> Cheese and salami. Well, your, I'm a, yeah. Take your saw to <laughs> yeah, cut your up. cheese. Chop saw. Let's go in the bedrooms. <laughs> Alrighty. Yeah. Bedroom, bathroom, closet. Check this out. Yeah. A phone, an old phone thing for Don't putting, touch it. putting the phone in here. Um, more storage space. Another bedroom. Another bedroom. And all of them have huge windows. They all have big windows. The big, you know, and the way they did this hallway where they came and made it wider here, even though it's offset, they made it wider. So it really makes yeah. it cool and gives it just kind of its own flavor and its own style. So yeah, really unique angles in very it. Very unique, yeah. very unique, very cool old house. Built in drawers. Yeah. Now, how cool is that? That is nice. Yeah. So, what do you think? Should we finish up? We'll go downstairs, go down the main stairway, end up in the uh, entryway, and we'll finish up. Yeah, sounds ah, great. Let's do it. Great design is in great details. Your design headquarters, the furniture look on the bricks in downtown Hayes. Natural gas is a clean, safe, economical energy source when installed and used properly. Your gas furnace or stove should have a steady blue flame. If not, call a qualified contractor for service. And if you smell that distinctive natural gas odor, leave your home or business immediately. Call Midwest Energy from a neighbor's phone and we'll be right there. Gas safety tips from Midwest Energy, a customer-owned cooperative making energy work for you. 
Faster than you can Google home equity loan, the Bank of Hayes can have that line of credit at your fingertips. In less time than you'll spend calling an 800 number to get service from a chain bank, the Bank of Hayes has already met any needs you might have. You see, at Bank of Hayes, we bring you something in banking no one else can. The idea of here and now. Meeting all your financing needs now because we're right here in Hayes. From financing a car to a home, let us help you now. Here. Now. Wow. If you're ready to replace your bath or shower enclosure and want a professional installation, stop by Advantage Glass Plus in Hayes. Select a standard or customized enclosure, framed or frameless, with hinged, pivoting, or sliding doors. Give your bath some personality and style with patterned glass available in many textures, including obscured, clear, and rain. Let the glass experts from Advantage Glass Plus create your new bath enclosure. 1005 Vine and Hayes. Find our ad in the next tech directory. Pretty cool house, huh? Yeah, yeah. This definitely is definitely different. Very cool house. Yeah, I'm really excited to start working on it. And uh, matter of fact, I think tomorrow we're gonna start tearing this baby up a little bit, Ooh. looking inside the walls, see what's up there. Who's we? Hey, we're back. <laughs> <laughs> pretty cool house. Thanks for joining us today. Uh, this old stone house is a pretty neat old barn house has a long history, a lot of story behind there it. There is a lot of stories. It makes it really cool to work on. Um, gosh, if these walls could talk coming up next, we've got that. What else did you were gonna, you were yeah, gonna- Yeah, you know, if you have any questions for us, email us at h2h at eaglecom.net. Um, you can check us out on hayspost.com, watch all of our shows there. Yeah. You know, if you miss us on, yeah. on channel 14. Absolutely. So. So, Pretty cool. Um, next show, we're going to talk about like where do you begin on a project like this? Because uh, kind of be you know I've done a lot of houses and it's even overwhelming to me. So I always say you know you eat an elephant one bite at a time. Ooh, um, yeah. Well, that's what I do with cinnamon rolls anyway. Oh, okay, <laughs> me too. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> so thanks for joining us this week. We'll be back next week with another episode of House to Home. Uh, Andrea, thank you. Yeah. Another great show. Another great one. See you uh, in just a few minutes. Looking for a new career? Midwest Energy has great careers in electric and natural gas utilities throughout central and western Kansas. We offer competitive pay, excellent benefits, and a wide variety of field and administrative positions. Most positions require community or technical college, and internships are available. Learn more at MWEnergy.com. Midwest Energy, a customer-owned cooperative, making energy work for you. Faster than you can Google home equity loan, the Bank of Hayes can have that line of credit at your fingertips. In less time than you'll spend calling an 800 number to get service from a chain bank, the Bank of Hayes has already met any needs you might have. You see, at Bank of Hayes, we bring you something in banking no one else can. The idea of here and now. Meeting all your financing needs now because we're right here in Hayes. From financing a car to a home, let us help you now. Here. Now. Wow. If you're ready to replace your bath or shower enclosure and want a professional installation, stop by Advantage Glass Plus in Hayes. Select a standard or customized enclosure, framed or frameless, with hinged, pivoting, or sliding doors. Give your bath some personality and style with patterned glass available in many textures, including obscured, clear, and rain. Let the glass experts from Advantage Glass Plus create your new bath enclosure. 1005 Vine and Hayes. Find our ad in the next tech directory. When it's summer in this part of Kansas, temps outside can hit 90 plus. But if the temperature inside your home or business isn't cool and comfy, you'll need this little tool right here. Just press the button 625-2115. That brings a Glassman technician right to your door to solve the problem instantly and affordably. For air conditioning service, the only name to know is Glassman Plumbing, Heating and Air. Glassman Plumbing, Heating and Air. The choice is perfectly clear. Glassman Plumbing, Heating Welcome back to House to Home. Uh, you know, at the end of every show, we do a segment called If My Walls Could Talk. And it's based on, you know, a house is a house, but what makes it a home are the people inside. Mm -hmm. And uh, something a little different today is to welcome Ken Lose with us today from uh, High Plains Mental Health. Um, I could have used you a few times over the past few years, um, but it's good to have you here today. And uh, what we've been doing today in our, this episode is, is We've just kind of spent some time going through the house, uh, mm -hmm. just kind of looking at it 
for what it is. You know, I, I think as a construction guy, the last thing I want to do is pretend there isn't a foundation issue or yeah. pretend the back wall isn't about to fall out of the house. Yeah. And uh, I, I think in, in, in life, I think there's a lot of correlation between how you look at a house before you're getting ready to rebuild and a life. You know, that, that's probably true. It's a great metaphor to use. Um, you know, a couple of things come to mind, Chris. One is that when we think about children and you think about their mental health, there's now uh, brain studies, evidence that shows that if children face neglect, if children face abuse, if they face a lot of stressors above and beyond what's normal in those early years, because the foundation of their brain is not quite as solid, uh, each level where the brain evolves, it, it, it maybe has some gaps, it maybe has some oh. weak spots, that these young people as adults have a higher likelihood for depression, higher likelihood for anxiety, more likely to have problems with their mental health based on that foundation uh, that know, makes, as children. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense when you think of kids developing. You know, as you're, I mean, it's no different. You're mixing up cement. If you don't do it the proper way, it's, it's not, you know, it's not, it's not going to hold up what you're building on top of it for kids. Absolutely. What, what about, how do we relate that? How about adults? You know, when you think of adults, we think of tragedy. People go through tragedy all the time, death of a child or death of a loved one. Um, and then, you know, we brief it. Divorce is, is a, divorce is a death. Yes, yeah. Divorce, you know, divorce is one of those unique situations where uh, no one gets married thinking about getting divorced. No one, um, you know, kind of thinks about the fact that what they thought was a future together, a lifelong future together, mm -hmm. that that whole plan, that whole image, that whole dream maybe disappears. And then, of course, the pragmatic aspects of family members not wanting to take sides, but yet it's, it's kind of difficult not to, if you have children uh, in a situation. You know, we know in mental health, the worst thing you could do for children in a situation in a divorce is for mom and dad to continue fighting. Yeah. That that conflict actually puts the children in a no-win situation. And you're guaranteeing that they will have frustrations and, and probably problems in their first marriage and, and uh, beyond once they get older. So, so you're right. I think um, most of us don't like change. Yeah. Most of us like things when they're comfortable. But um, thinking of the, the metaphor of the foundation, you know, people's lives go through some major transitions. Yeah. Uh, they can be ones that we expect but they can be divorced, they can be bankruptcies, they can be a major health problem, um, death of a child, you know, so many things. And yeah. then people have to kind of get back to maybe some basics, get back to really reestablishing what they want their life to be from that moment forward. Yeah, you kind of, I mean, you know, when I look at houses, when I renovate a house, you know, I go in and I really try to look at them for what they are. And even if, you know, even if it has a bad foundation, it doesn't, that doesn't stop me. I mean, I, but, I, but I address it, you know, because yeah. the last thing I want to do is go put in a $10,000 kitchen, you know, and then the foundation is, is in bad shape. Um, you know, I'll tell you what, um, my son has died. I've been through a couple divorces, you know, so, um, you know, my dad just passed away a couple weeks ago. Mm -hmm. And one of the things that's helped me, what has really helped me with my dad's death is, you know, unfortunately, I had the practice of Blake's death. Um, you know, and, and I really did look at divorce in that way to say, okay, how do I pick up the pieces of my life? And, you know, that happens inside of houses, you know, and I, that's why I love the, the idea of house to home. It, you know, a house is just a house, but when you put yeah. these lives and it's complicated, um, it is complicated. And so you got to really just kind of step back and, and take a realistic look at it. And here's what's kind of cool too is. I think there's a metaphor in going and seeing somebody, going out to find some help from professionals like yourself, because I do the same thing when I renovate a house. If I run into things and I am not sure, I go look for help. Yeah, you look for some specialists. Uh, yeah, I mean, because I want you chasing possum in my crawl space, you know? I mean, <laughs> not literally, I yeah. hope, but uh, yeah. figuratively, okay. <laughs> yeah. But you know, you have that expertise, you've yeah. been there. You. It's not just my story, you know, you've heard stories similar to mine. Yeah. And you can kind of tie those things together. You know, it's first to, to compliment you, Chris, on this kind of a project. Um, you know, people need outlets. 
people need to have some passions. Yeah. And, and when they do go through a tragedy, when they go through an event they didn't expect, when something bad happens, they need to have something to kind of direct their energies and direct their time. Um, you know, like with anything in life, as you mentioned, life gets kind of complicated. Houses are complicated. If some people have just one outlet, they can maybe become too preoccupied with it. They start to neglect relationships or other things that might be an issue. But to have some way of, of working out the grief, working yeah. out the disappointment, the loss, is, is very, very key. Uh, and, and I appreciate this, the statement you made to fight stigma. In Northwest Kansas, we still fight that all the time. And mm -hmm. if, you, if you put us in the same realm as plumbers and electricians and carpenters yeah. and other experts when it comes to rebuilding and remodeling, yeah. I think it helps people kind of look at it in a different light. Oh, I, I agree. I mean, I think, and I think of guys especially, guys especially. Yeah. I mean, every time I do a workshop, it's always ladies coming in. Their husbands have been drugged there. You know, they're right. they're not there willingly. But, right. you know, thank you for being here. My pleasure. Um, this ending is all about if my walls could talk and my walls will talk. Thank you for joining us with House to Home. We will see you next week as we begin to rebuild this house.